Hey, this is Matthew Jeske, and I just about have finished this book, uh, The Millionaire Fast Lane by MJ DeMarco. And I have to say, I really love this book. This is a fantastic book. Um, one thing that really resonates with me is he talks about how he had a, you know, a dream, and that was to own a Lamborghini. And I thought that was kind of cool because as a kid I had the same uh, dream. I always wanted to own a Lamborghini Diablo. But um, for reasons that be, you know, I got a really fantastic career and honestly I think if I would have kept with that career, I, could, I, I know I could own a Lamborghini Diablo right now. Um, if I'd stayed on the previous path, that is actually the slow lane as he refers to it. I, you know, I used to design um, aircraft equipment and, um, you know, really sophisticated medical devices and things like that. Um, but I, you know, I, as many people have, um, I have a real desire to be a little more free to uh, be in control of my destiny. And um, one thing that has fascinated me has been, you know, the idea of becoming an entrepreneur. And um, it's, it's really been something I've wanted to do for a long time. And so that, that you know, made me stumble onto the fast lane, uh, the millionaire fast lane. An entrepreneur friend of mine had actually read it and highly recommended it. So I started reading it and I love, I said I love this book. He gets into more or less the philosophy and the mindset that are required to separate yourself um, from the time equation. And I've never heard it explained so clearly. I've read a great many books. I have a stack that probably goes as high as my forehead here that I've read and none of them have been as honest or resonated with me as much as this one. Uh, I, you know, as you read more books and you, you implement things that you learn in these books, you find that a lot of the books are more I don't know how to say it. They're more talk and less walk. <laughs> yeah, I, I can start to pick out some things now that, you know, aren't as practical or don't work as well as you would think they would. And yeah, I, now I have to read a few books to really get at one that has really solid advice in it. And this is one that just from front to back it's just laced with really good um, information. And I, I guess what I'm taking away from it is when you're on your own and you're trying to do something that your family is kind of beating you up about and your friends are telling you you're crazy and you know, you're on this road and you really want to go down it, you, it's hard to find people to reinforce your thoughts um, and your ideas and I'm just kind of finding from this book that a lot of what I'm doing is on the right road. I'm going in the right direction. It's just providing me a lot of really good reinforcement for what I'm doing. Um, he doesn't sugarcoat things either which I really like. Um, it's, it's not about get rich quick or another thing, oh, he's talking about this right now. I'm not quite finished. I got a few pages left. Um, how business is really about adding value and helping people, putting them in a better place than they are previously before doing business with you. And as I've gotten to business, I found that couldn't be more true. Um, what I see with a lot of people that want to get out and strike it on their own, it's all about get rich quick and how you can manipulate the system. And I found that just, it really actually hurts the consumer and it hurts um, other business owners because it makes a bad name for us. But 
I, I guess by the same token, it makes things easier. I'm really, I'm really just ra rambling on here. My, um, my advice for anybody in business, anybody that's an aspiring entrepreneur, is to buy this book and read it from front to back. It's invaluable. The information is really great. I'm going to give it a five-star rating on Amazon. I think that's just about the least it deserves. It, it's a really, really great book. I wish I'd read this before some of the others that actually inspired me. Um, and he actually talks about some of the other books I've read in here. Another thing I took away from this is uh, it's more important to observe the process that other authors are going about before you really jump on their advice. And I've found that to be true. I've actually been doing a little of, of that already. Um, I follow a lot of authors out there just to kind of see how they market things anymore. Um, a lot of this book just totally resonates with me. It's awesome. You've got to read the fast, the millionaire fast lane, and then be, you know become very successful and realize your dreams. Um, I'm not quite to the point where I'm realizing my dreams. I'm realizing the hard work that's involved, and you know it's exceptionally exciting going out on your own. Um, well, that's something. Every time I say something, it reminds me of something else in the book. He talks about not getting excited about the business you're in, but more or less the process. I don't know if that's exactly how he put it, but the process of growing and nurturing a business to meet your goals. And that helped me a lot because I'm starting to question what I'm doing in business, if it's worth it, because I, you know, I don't necessarily sometimes enjoy the hard work and being up late at night and learning about things that are so complicated, <laughs> like you know how to code these things on the internet, or how to write sales copy, or how to deal with customers and clients that are just a pain in the butt, and how to train salespeople to work with me, and it's just all these things. You think, what is this about? Why am I in this? But then you remind yourself, it's about the goals. It's about the process, the excitement of growing and fostering a business. And then in the end, it's about reaching and meeting your goals that you've been, you know, striving for for so long. I'm, real, I'm rambling on. I'm totally rambling on, but I love this book. I, I just, it's awesome. Thank you, MJ, for writing this. And um, if you are watching this and you're wondering about buying the book, you need to buy it. Just buy it. What, what is 15 bucks, I don't know exactly what it costs, but what is 15 bucks in the grand scheme of things? If you take away what I found now, if you take away one idea from a book, it's worth way more than $15. Some of the ideas I've taken away from even the, you know, the books I've gave poor reviews on have made me a ton of money. They've returned on the measly $20 investment of a book, which is the most I've ever spent in a long time, um, I've earned back, you know, like 10, 20 fold right away. It's, it's, or 10 or 20 times that right away, really easily from one idea I take away from a book. And this book is full of, I not ideas, but a mindset that you have to have. Yeah, being successful is really a mindset. And this book is all about that mindset. So before I run, uh, Amazon out of space to store videos. I have to say thank you for watching the video and uh, go ahead and get the book. It's great.